Look at him. Brooke, Brooke, Brooklyn, Brooklyn Heights. Queen of the North. <laughs> The, she's going to be a judge on Drag Race Canada. Congratulations, Miss Brooklyn. So proud of you and happy for you. Now, did you know Brooklyn before the competition? I met her at Continental. Right. When I competed at Continental, that's how I met her. Uh-huh. Yeah, she was there and I met her. And when she walked into the workroom and I told her who I was, and she's like, oh, you were the girl that did the Bollywood. I was like, yeah. And she's like, oh my God. It was really. Speaking of which, I love when you do the Bollywood Thank stuff. Thank you. You lady right, you seen that? <laughs> No, but I'm going to go check it out and do my research. Oh, you need to because, honey, you get it all together. You know? <laughs> give, me a little, give me a little bit of that. You do those little do those isolations. <laughs> you really pull it off. Thank it's a you. great number. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Brooklyn really seemed like she was there to win. Oh, yeah. She oh. was slaying the game for a lot of it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, she was having an affair on camera with Fanchi. What were your thoughts about two drag queens kai kai it up ah, in the oh middle of this God. competition? You know what? I did not know that was happening. Uh -huh. I did not know that was all happening. Uh -huh. And I thought it was just like, just normal. Like, you know, it was, I didn't thought it was anything serious. And then I saw on TV, I said, hold on, wait a second. Excuse me, girl, what the hell? What happened? Where was I this whole time? Uh -huh. It was just like a different side that I saw. Right. And I was like, wow. How did they get away with this? <laughs> I know. How did they sneak away to see each other off I camera? Because weren't you all sequestered? I, I, I really don't know how the hell. Because we're all like in the different rooms, you know? Mm -hmm. But I'm just like, how did y'all see each other? Uh huh. Would you be open to. Uh, if you were, say, on All Stars and there was an attraction with someone, would you do it on camera? <laughs> of course, why not? Oh, okay. Of well, course. give me more camera time, that's for sure. Yeah, of course, honey. It's just, have a good time, honey. Love is love, okay? Mm hmm What did you think of the finale lip syncs? Oh, my God. It was crazy. I was just like, the, the edge of my seat, like, oh my God. It felt like I was on the stage, you know? Mm -hmm. it, it was crazy. I just, I didn't, it was all of them were just killing it. Uh, how did you think Miss Brooklyn did? She was really good. She was really good. And Evie, too, and that whole back band and that whole headpiece that she was wearing, it was amazing. <laughs> what it was something. was really good. I was, I was it's like, oh my God, don't cut yourself. Don't, don't, don't break your back too, girl. <laughs> Ouch, my back hurts, honey, watching you do all that. Uh, now, Brooklyn Heights, like Nina, was a drag veteran. Uh, how, did you watch her and learn any tips on how to make it through the competition from her? You know what? I was doing my best. And uh, I was having a hard time sometimes understanding this, you know, the... The, uh, the challenges and, you know. Right, the you high concepts. Yeah, and then you don't have that much time to process, mm -hmm. so you just have to go with it. Right. And it was just, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna just do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at her. Akiria. Come through, Akiria. Now, um, one of the sisters that you revealed a lot to on camera who supported you when you decided to come back and talk about being Muslim on camera. Yeah. What kind of support has Akira given you in that manner? Just being there for me and being like, girl, follow your heart. You are the voice for a lot of kids out there. And do not let other people bring you down, which was so nice, you know, hearing that from her and the other girls. Mm -hmm. So. When Akira came back in the reunion, it seems like she had watched the show and was a little pissed about how things went down. Did you think that, uh, did you notice that? You know what, yeah, the whole scene about her and Plastic, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was just the way it played the camera and stuff. It was just like, whoo, girl. Yeah. Okay. I was just like, I, I just can't. I don't want to be here. I don't want to hear this whole conversation right now because I don't want to do, I don't have nothing to do with it. I'm just done with it. Right, I understand. Okay. Let's look at someone who you saw just recently. Look up. 
Oh, Scarlett! Now, we know Scarlett from Drag Race, but you know Scarlett from real life. Tell us what she's really like in real life. She's fun. Oh, I did not know the bitch likes to party. Uh-huh. And, you know, have a good time. And not take everything too serious. Mm. Like, the show, the competition is a competition. You have to take everything serious. But outside the competition, you know, spending a whole month with her and Sugar, it was just like another people. Like, you know, I got to know them more and we spent time together, go out together, eat together, you know, shop together. It was just another person. Who's more boy crazy, you or Scarlett or Sugar? Huh? Who is more boy crazy? <laughs> no one. <laughs> that is a no lie. lie. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Me and Scarlett are single, so you know what? If we see a cute boy, we're like, ooh, he is fine. <laughs> right. And you know what? You can y'all got, y'all got some cute boys. Ooh. Yeah, oh, they had some beautiful men. I bet. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> Now, are there any drag tips that you've taken from when you travel with Sugar and Scarlett? Do you guys trade any little secrets back and you forth? Know, yes. Um, I never uh, taped my head before under the wig. Oh. And then the the glue, then the, uh, the wig glue, because I, I have to watch what I put on my skin, too. I, my skin gets real irritated quick, fast. Wow. So there was some glue that they taught me to use it. Like, you know, they showed me, they're like, girl, try this wig, and I, this glue, and I was like, Bitch, my skin gonna say no. Uh huh. But no, my skin was like, oh, this works. Yeah. So my wig stay, my lace fronts, you know, I use a new wig glue now that I they helped me with. And you now you can flip your hair whatever well, direction well, you want. I was flipping before, but it was just like, God. <laughs> and it was a wrong glue that I was using, but now I use the better one. Well, that's good. Thank you, Scarlett Envy, oh, yeah, for that. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, let's look at the winner of season 11. Look at her. Uh, Evie, Evie, Ali. Oh, what, a, what a picture. Wow, I'm happy right. Halloween, honey. <laughs> um, Evie, Ali. Amazing. And you know what? All of us deserve to win. And she was really good, you know, and she deserved to win. And I'm happy for her. She had a habit of really breaking it down for people uh, during the season. Oh, absolutely. Tell me about that. She would say how it is, whether you like it or don't. If you don't like it, walk away. Right. That's her. <laughs> Girl, she, she's going to tell you the truth, which I liked about her. Her personality and being honest and being true and tell you how it is, whether you like it or don't. What did you think of the little scandal that came up when she said she made a statement about not wanting to take pictures with people after the show? How do you feel about that whole thing? I've heard about it. Um, it depends, the moment. It depends, you know? Especially, like, if you're traveling and you had a few hours sleep and you literally just finished a whole gig and you're like, okay, I'm ready to go back to the hotel and get some rest. And... If you take, and not only like, you take one picture with one person, trust me, there's gonna be a line. And you can't say no to all of those, you know? And that's why probably she stopped. And she's like, honey, like, I can't do it right now because if someone sees her taking a picture with one person, trust me, there will be other people that will be like, well, you just took a picture with her. Oh, you took a picture with her. Uh -huh. So that's probably what happened. And a lot of people didn't understand and they just went at her, like, trying to read her down. Like, I was like, girl. I, I'm good. I don't, I don't want to say anything. I don't want people to come in after me. Right, I, I know. I'm just keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> I'm sorry, Evie, you went through that, but people, I wish people would understand when you travel so much, we're human. We're not, uh, you know, mannequins. You know, we need to rest. Yeah. So if you're tired, you're tired. If you can't take a picture, you can't take a picture. You can't force someone to take a picture. But these days, you know, you're on the, in the public eye. You say a little thing, people can take into 10 different ways. And we'll explain it to 10 different ways. Right. All right, last but not least, look at her. She's your new mommy. Oh, mother, mother, <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you so much for everything you have done for the LGBTQ community. Thank you so much. And not only that, the first Muslim and having the first Muslim on your show. Thank you so much. That's all I can say from her. Like, yeah. She, if it wasn't for her, I don't think I'll be sitting here today, you know, or 
a lot of you will be out and talking about, you know, a lot of Muslims will be comfortable by themselves if it wasn't for her. So I'm so grateful for her, for the opportunity. Beautiful. She's your new mommy. There oh, she you go. Is, and she will always be my mother. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much for being thank our Mercedes. You. Thank you. Thank we you. love you. Lady Red, you have a great time today, baby. Just wonderful. <laughs> Look at you with your perky bosoms and smile. <laughs> oh, well, thank you to Lady Red, thank you to Randy Boo, and most importantly, thank you to Mercedes Iman Diamond. Yeah! And thank you all, my little gay babies. We'll see you next time on Hey Queen and Look at her. Look at her. I said, shoot! Ah! Get out of my yard, you damn camera! Hello, children! Click here! Click here! And subscribe! You're welcome.